increasing your income, how to get an increase. And I know sometimes this can just seem like uh, you either you either have an income that you're happy with or you don't. Or if you if you start with a good income, then it's easy to increase. But actually, there's a formula that you can use. And again, these things that I'm sharing with you, these 16 lessons are based in spiritual principles, meaning if you follow these, it must produce the re- result, the outcome that you are looking for. Anybody can tell you, you know, um, go to college. This is the world system. Go to college. You get a good job, you know, save your money, um, buy a house. These are the things that the world tells you that you need to do in order to achieve success, in order to achieve happiness, in order to be um fulfilled and also to be seen by other people as a responsible adult. Okay. As somebody who's a contributing member of society, you have to do those things. If you don't do them, nobody's going to take you serious. The problem here is that once we start on the world system, number one, it's very difficult to get unhooked from it. It's very difficult to even think that another system is possible. Think that another way of living is possible. It takes you actually further away from your goal. What was your goal in the first place? You wanted money for something. You wanted money to, yes, live comfortably um, so that you could be able to have time freedom. That's such a huge thing for people. And if it isn't a huge thing for you, you need to start thinking about your priorities. But money will actually allow you to buy back your time. Okay, the true true, um, note of a wealthy person is how much free time that they have. And I don't mean free time because they don't have a job or they're unemployed but because they've understood how to set up systems that will generate them wealth without them being involved and present and conscious and awake and involved in the business. So let's just start at the basics. How do I even get more money so that I can start investing or I can start taking uh, steps to getting me time freedom? Render more service than is expected of you. So if you say to somebody, I'm going to, let's say you're hired to clean somebody's house. I'm going to clean your house. Do more than what is expected of you. And you will always not only keep that person happy, but that person will be happy to tell other people about you. I'm going to get into this whole chain of events, but it all starts with just doing a little more. Maybe you were hired to clean the house, but what if you also took out the trash or emptied the trash or put the trash at the curb or um, you also just you know left a little sample of something uh, in the bathroom for the the person who you're cleaning for, you left it smelling even better. You deep cleaned something uh, during your normal routine cleaning. You deep cleaned one thing and, and that just added, um, you know, because you saw it needed to get done and that just added something to the person's home that you were cleaning. There's an, there's an endless way to provide more service than what is expected of you. And doing this ensures that, again, not only you're keeping that person happy, they're happy to make referrals. Do you understand how this can add momentum into uh, your um, your income earnings? So now, not only is it not, ju- not a hassle to call you, they're not just getting what they pay for, but they want to call you. They want you to be around. They want you to do the project because it's a joy and it's an ease. There's an ease to... Um, working with you. Second thing, so generously, so generously, your time, your money, your talents, so generously. And, and yes, I do mean in other people, listen, if you are somebody's friend who has a business and you're always asking them for a discount, you are, you will reap back that discount meaning treat other people just because you could get a discount on something in that in that moment you might be trading what you want most for what you want now i want a discount right now i can't afford it how many people say that over themselves i can't afford that i by no means am saying live outside of where where your means are i am saying and in fact i'm not saying that what i am saying is upgrade your skill set so that there is no such thing as living outside of your means So that the things that you want, you were given those desires for a reason so that you can actually have them without them becoming a burden. When you get stuff in a manner that you're unable to support, that thing will become a burden to you. I really wanted it, so I bought it. Well, guess what? But that's why buyer's remorse is even a thing. 